And turning now to campaign 2020, where Congressman Tim Ryan is withdrawing from the presidential race. Ryan said in a statement, quote, while it didn't work out quite the way we planned, this voice will not be stifled. His presidential campaign lasted seven months, and he announced he will be running for re-election for Ohio's 13th congressional district. Meanwhile, former Vice President Joe Biden is again addressing the Ukraine scandal. This time, Biden is denying anyone raised concerns about his son Hunter taking a job in Ukraine. I never heard a thing. He never spoke to me. No one ever spoke to me, period. He may have said something to somebody else, but no one said anything to me. And no one ever said, I said I didn't have the bandwidth to deal with it. And let's get something straight. My son did nothing wrong or illegal, period. But that does appear to contradict reporting from a Washington Post story published in September. That report says an advisor was, quote, concerned enough to mention it to the vice president, but says, quote, the conversation was brief and other aides said they didn't want to. A new national poll out today from Quinnipiac shows Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren leading Biden. This is not the first poll to show Warren in the lead, but it competes with a CNN poll released just yesterday showing Biden leading the Democratic field with the widest margin in months. It is important to remember these are both national polls and there is no national primary. Meanwhile, a new state poll about Iowa has Mayor Pete Buttigieg in second place in the state. Iowa State University found of likely caucus goers, 20 percent say he is their top choice among the Democratic candidates. He's behind Elizabeth Warren in that poll, who kept her lead in the state. And the latest national polls have placed Senator Amy Klobuchar in the November debate. She hit the polling requirements with the Quinnipiac poll released this morning. She is now the ninth candidate to qualify for next month's debate that will be held in Atlanta. Presidential hopefuls still have until November 13th to qualify.